Mickey does contain his autism in a physical sense, which is so exhausting. I think the psychologist referred to it as a, a fight or flight state. When you look at Oshin, you see a really happy, bubbly, quite confident child. Um, but what you don't see is the struggles behind all of that or what we've had to do to get him to that point. He was always a very quiet child and he kept to himself. Because I was, I was shy, I kept my chin down as a kid. Um, I'd never really look at people. Camouflaging into the, the environment, as we say. He'll always be restricted by an invisible thing that stops him from completely uh, assimilating into, into our world fully. Emma's autism significantly impacts the way she's able to communicate. Her um, ability to participate in daily living skills. Jade has a lot to say. She's got a lot of great ideas as well in her head. So having the device really gives her that sense of freedom to communicate to others and let them all know about her and who she is and what makes her feel good. For us, our main support is, other than our family, is the Autism Association because they've given us the tools to be able to handle these situations. Inclusion in the community is vital, especially for our students. Somewhere down the track, hopefully, they'll be able to, to live fairly independently and be able to live a relatively normal life. So important for Emma to have those social interactions in the community and I think with just a little bit of compassion and understanding about autism, it would significantly improve Emma's quality of life. Being part of the community gives Mickey just such a great purpose in his life. It's really giving him value. Just showing that we are actually a part of the society and that we can connect with you, we can do things. Once people accept, then we can tolerate and then we can move forward all together. If we're treated with respect and treated as an equal, we can do many great things in this world. If there was just more awareness and more understanding from people and, you know, kids and especially adults, you know, it would be a much happier space because <laughs> this world isn't built for kids on the spectrum, is it? You know, and we need to help it be everyone's world, you know, and not just what society sees as normal, you know, it's the world for everyone. We're all part of one great big community.